are vampire bats better than humans? No, because that's a meaningless clickbait question. That being said, did you know that vampire bats actually engage in kind of a lot of cooperative and seemingly altruistic social behavior? Adult vampire bats will go out of their way to feed other adult vampire bats regardless of whether they're genetically related to each other. And okay, sure, the way that they do this is kind of gross. They have to do it by regurgitating blood into each other's mouths. But hey, I'm just saying, there aren't a lot of humans who would do that for other humans. There was also this really cool paper from back in 21 that reported an instance of a female vampire bat adopting the orphaned baby of another vampire bat that had recently died. And again, Apart from being the same species, these bats were not related to each other. These unusually cooperative social behaviors might have something to do with the vampire bat's unique all-blood diet, which is very nutrient-poor, and that, combined with the super high metabolism of a bat, means that an injured vampire bat will starve to death in about three days if it doesn't have a way of feeding itself. So if you have an entire colony of vampire bats behaving this way, that reduces the risk of starvation after injury for each individual bat. So that's why we think this is happening, but there are also some clues about how this is happening. A 2022 paper looked at the genetic changes that have happened in vampire bats as they evolved out of ancestral bat populations to live on this all-blood diet, and interestingly, one of these genetic changes doesn't have anything directly to do with surviving on an all-blood diet. It doesn't have to do with metabolizing iron or anything about blood. Rather, this genetic change seems to make vampire bats more intelligent than other bats. 